Today we conclude our four-part series on grace. Of all the themes of the Bible, God's grace through His Son, Jesus Christ, is the greatest example. It's the most critical element in a person's life, and the choice to receive it is ours. The Bible tells us that before the world was created, God already had a plan to redeem mankind from sin. And because He knows all, He already knew what would take place in the Garden of Eden. Acts 15.11 says, We believe it is through the grace of our Lord Jesus that we are saved, just as they are. The greatest act of grace, then, was given at the cross when Jesus willingly died in our place. Because God is all-knowing and all-powerful, He decides what is best for human beings. And since He cannot tolerate sin, someone had to stand in as a substitute. Otherwise, each of us would be required to receive the punishment for sin, which is death. And Jesus took all of that away from us. In Isaiah 50 and in Psalm 22, we read very graphic descriptions of the ways Jesus suffered during the crucifixion. He himself tells us what it was like. In the Greek and Hebrew, the concept of grace is a picture of someone stooping to help another. And more specifically, It is a picture of a superior person freely offering to help a person in great need and incapable of doing it for himself. 2 Timothy 1 gives us a clear picture of how God's grace came into the world, emphasizing that we can do nothing to earn it. This requires us to get rid of our pride. The passage also tells us that this grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. And though we think of the Old Testament as more about law, while the New Testament focuses on grace, there are examples in the Old Testament reminding us that God has never abandoned anyone in any era. Whether you have plenty and don't feel you need any help from God or you're in great need, won't you consider accepting the free gift of salvation and forgiveness of sins that God is offering? Let's pray. Father, just like the old hymn says, Jesus paid it all. And that reality fills us with joy. Our salvation promises that one day, when you make all things new, we will be able to fully enjoy that grace for all eternity. You are the great God, and we praise you for your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Did you know many of the messages featured on the Caruso Daily Devotional are available on a t-shirt? Caruso creates original t-shirts, apparel, and gifts with inspirational messages that share the good news of Jesus. Learn more at caruso.com. That's K-E-R-U-S-S-O.com.